welcome back at Peter Place. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Especially for subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to get to 750 subscribers as soon as possible. Also, thank you so very much for leaving some nice comments down below. That really helps me to clear out this game even better. I am currently uh, here. Here would be underneath Kakariko Bridge. I have my eyes on this island, but I can also see right over here a wonderful cave. Uh, there is an Octorok right there. I got him. Or Tulin got him. Also possible that Tulin got him. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of current here, so I can just swim. Sadly, arrows in this game do not float. Otherwise, I could have recuperated one arrow. Now I cannot. It's a bit sad because, you know, I like arrows. And in this particular case, I'm pretty low on them. Also, uh, before going into the cave, though, and there's a Korok seed because I can see the flower. So, if nothing else, it's uh, good to come here. Alright. So, you can already guess that... Ooh. Oh, it's just... Alright, I thought it was more. You can already guess that the last... Um, Korok seed flower will probably be all the way up top of this island. Luckily, as far as I know, these things are not on time. Alright, so where, where's the other one? Really now? Probably in here somewhere. No. All right. That has me. Oh, it's over there. It's very well camouflaged against the tree, is it? Yeah. Ah, uh, excuse me. It was very well camouflaged against the tree. I'll give it that. And there you go. The last one is absolutely where I thought it was going to be. Oof. Korok seat number what? 40? Indeed, Korok seat number 40. Bye. I'm going to quickly adjust my mic. Yeah, this might give some audio. I think I did it without any uh, audio disturbance. Anyway. So we've got a Korok seat and there's a wonderful well. Is it even a cave, right? So I think I'm gonna be needing everything that I found here. And then, yeah, there was that. So... Can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. slide straight in perfect and then there was a steering stick wow now just drop it here so all right
All right. <laughs> Did it still attach? Oh, it's raining. I didn't see that it's raining. All right. Anyway, did it still attach to something? Yes, it did. Actually, it, it attached quite perfectly. That also attached quite perfectly, so... There we go. Oh, uh, let's, let's be smart about this. I have a certain outfit right here. That allows me to save up on ener energy on batteries, so let's just do that. And now let's steer this. Right, the Bayrou to the Lanayru wetlands. Um, first of all, there's a lot of enemies here. I don't have a massive amount of hearts to play with. So, first order of business. Let's go back here. Oh. Really? Was it here then? Yes, it was here. Alright. You. You are getting up here. Because I might need you later on. Luminous stone. I don't know how many I have of these. At some point, I think... <laughs> At some point, I should go back to... Um... Zora's Domain. Because, uh, I want to check. Well, maybe I shouldn't, right? <laughs> there is this thing. Like, I've never used these luminous stones for anything. So I'm kind of assuming I can sell them off for lots of money. gonna leave that in there Ooh. I 
I know there was in Breath of the Wild a guy called Fronk, I guess. Who, um, who would treat, uh, who would treat, who would trade seven or ten luminous stone for a diamond. I might be interested in a diamond. All right, so. There's also the other bank. Let's try and get there using our good friend Tulum. That actually worked like a charm. I don't know if I can go back. Now let's. Alright, I went into the water anyway. Also, I have no clue how many flints I have right now, but I think it's a lot. Rito passes, all right. What's in the treasure chest? Yep. I do not have a single bow on me, it would appear, because I can pick up every single bow. This game throws at me. Rock salt, how much rock salt do I actually have? Um. Yep. Barely, barely, nearly, I mean, nearly, I made it nearly to the other side without getting wet. I steer to the shore expertly. This is categorized as a cave, so at some point I'm gonna find a bubble frog. I'm absolutely. This could be a talus. That thing could be a talus. Just saying. Ah, uh, I think it is. So, oh. 163, that is not a lot. I thought I would have way more. Okay, I don't. Disappointing. Um, also, food-wise, not a lot of things to play with here. Oh. Obviously, these in abundance. Let's... Okay, at half a heart each, that goes pretty fast through my, uh... <sighs> right. So let's see, is this a talus? It is. Oh, come on. Wonderful. Uh, let's think about this. Uh, first of all, 
Ooh, that was a hit. Other weapon. Maybe something with... Hmm. Alright, that, that's almost done. So let's then take this. Alright, so... Uh, first, first order of business. You... Alright, we're on top. Of course. I forgot. I can't fuse this. Or maybe I can. Or can I? No, it was the Master Sword that ran out of, of, of juice. Alright. So maybe for now let's fuse it to a shield. I should have remembered that I could fuse it to a shield and then I can go to um, what's the place called? Tarrytown. I can unfuse it whenever I want and then get it fused to a weapon. Why am I doing it this way? Hang on a sec. I can just pull that thing off the wall. There we go. looking for the bubble frog by the way <laughs> am I far enough in the water yes I am oh there we go That is nice. That is nice. All right. Oh, it floats. Wow. Good. <coughs> For a sec there, I thought, oh, I did something really stupid. But it floats. That is good. All right. Um. All right. So can't you get on this thing? All right. So where do I end up? Wait a sec. Oh, all the way here. I went all the way underneath. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Wow, my um The treasure chest was stuck to that thing, huh? All right. So, before I go any further, Korok mask, please. Also, I would like the rest of this outfit. Where can I find that, huh? Where can I find that? If anyone knows, 
Is it one of the treasures of the depths? Please let me know. All right. So, is it in the Korok? Uh, is it in the tree? Yes, it's in the tree. It's right here. So I would say, or say, if I make it, well, not if, when I make it to 50 Korok seeds, I think we should revisit Hestu. However, I think it's going to be depressing to see how fast my Korok supply is going to shrink, given Hestu's ridiculous increasing prices. That said, we have to do it anyway. So we uh, discovered another cave, another bubble frog. That's also very nice. In the meantime, we're on top of this hill. We have the Korok mask on, so if there's anything somewhere near, we should be triggered. That's a treasure chest, right? Red rupee, you know. All right. So what uh, I also saw last time, these things. So um, I'm gonna put a pin here, and I'm gonna explore these peaks for korok seeds. And also, there was one more ring ruin that I needed to read for certain uh, uh, quest in uh, Dark Rico Village. Alright, I'm counting you to on you, Tulan. I'm not doing anything here, I'm just running away from trouble. So this ring is not the, the famous... Excuse me? Alright, so... There were more. There were more. Let's get them all. And then the other one, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that down too because he had lots of nice. Thank you too. Alright, so first let's eat something. I am very close to being completely exhausted, so why not? Thank you, Tulin. I think I scored some arrows, which is good. I was actually on my way there. Oh, really? Hey. You just saw me take down a boko, like, what? Why is your size? And you really think you stand a chance? But you did take me... You did take a quarter heart off of me. You sly foxy. Anyway. Ring Ruin, not the one above Kakariko Village. I think there has to be a Korok Seed on there. Let's go check that out, shall we? Ah, it's a shadow thing. I thought it was, uh, it was a Korok Flower already. Yes, it wasn't. I saw some nice scaffolding up there. Oh. 
not that easily accessible as I thought. Just grab hold. Thank you. Mm, but there's crates here. Interesting, because I'm almost completely out of arrows. If one of those arrows fell, I am not going to go get them. This is not climbable from here. But it is from here. Korok Mask is doing... The Master Sword power has been restored. Okay, Korok Mask is doing nothing. Either the Korok seed is in the ring or all the way up top. Is what I would say. All right, we're in the ring. Far, nothing special to be seen. No Korok seat alarm. Can I ascend? I can. Let's do it. There's a dragon right there. Again, no Korok seat alarm. Slightly disappointing. Oh, because apparently I was here already. And there was a Korok seat here. Okay, fine. So, um, then. Let's actually check. I'm actually looking at the peak. Alright. Oh, it's starting to rain. Cut. Wonderful. I thought that would have been a risk. All right. Hit. There was a stone slab in here that I actually read. Yeah. But 
there's also a treasure chest that I didn't take yet. Mm. But it's it's not a very good cool weapon anyway. So let's leave it. There you go. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right. <laughs> Just for funsies. I think it's part of a quest and I don't remember. So let's try it. If it works, leaving the Korok mask on and wearing. Where is it at? That. are sliding back down but slowly but surely we are getting where we want to be which is on top of this thing uh there's nothing there obviously ooh, look at that how nice what do i have in my inventory to get me there probably nothing the other thing i could do Let's travel to the tower over yonder and shoot myself up in the sky. That would work. Now, before I do that, let's quickly check the map. I haven't uh, found a single Korok seed here. Okay, fine. Alright, so I am super high up now. So let's think about this. Uh, I should see that dragon somewhere. So I came from here there you go there you go there you go so just to make sure i don't freeze my my myself to death on top of that dragon I might not have a whole lot of time on Nadra right there because I think she's aiming or he's aiming for the um, have it, the, the chasm.
right, so where am I at? Oh, I'm on the dragon. All right, cool. It worked, but we are completely going into the depths here. Oh, there's three of them right there. I can catch a ride on, on a spike here, so we're going into the depths, all right. That's a thing. I've never done that. I've never, like, um, itch hiked into the depths on the, the back of a dragon. I also kind of wonder if the... well, I don't see any animations that point towards a breeze, so the breeze is probably not gonna carry me out of the depths back to the surface. So what I should do is I should catch my breath here. like that and just watch you know watch how these these uh how this travel unfolds wait until nadra levels out again and then i can just freely walk around on top and score whatever parts i want this is cool we are riding a dragon down into the depths there we are There we have the ceiling of the depths. That's a bit of a, of a of a weird weird thing. There is some fog hanging close to the ceiling of the depths. Well, look at that. Where are we here? All right, we already defeated that enemy. Nedra is leveling out. How nice. at that that's that's you know the depths right there entry into the depths all right so now we have the updraft thingy again that wasn't there when nadra went down into the no don't do that done with these shards or are there more do I really need to go all the way back there probably I do right I'm gonna I'm gonna call it and I'm gonna run well run I'm gonna fly back to the front curious enough to say like okay i'll wait for it i'll write this entire ride out on nadra until he she it whatever resurfaces to another chasm into hyrule all right so we are going faster than nadra is
but this cannot be anything else. Oh, it does shoot off. Did I already have it? Cool. And again, I'm in the draft of the dragon. Can I see? Can I see? No, I can't. Um, can I, I? Obviously, I can see. All right. So, um, can I see? Where are we here? So we came in through this chasm. Uh, I can't see any chasm in the in the vicinity. So, hmm. What I'll do is I'll uh, go back to the yeah to the tower I was aiming for before I saw Nedra. I've got a shard of Nedra's horn. I've got some Nedra spikes. That is really cool. And then I can continue exploring the hills that I had my eyes on before this entire dragon adventure kind of again swept me off track. So here we go onto the tower or into the tower. nice um but we have already surpassed the half an hour mark by quite a lot so i will leave the episode right here i will say as usual thank you for watching thank you for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye